So this is in Zolotorn in Switzerland. It's quite special here. And here's the, you know, Kreiskommando. You know, fuck. It's uh, like the uh, Oberkommandantur, Gestapo. Here's the Swiss Gestapo. Three pyramids here. You see that a lot too. Uh, the grain. And here's Zolotun. Another Swiss Templar. And there was the Oberkommandantur. Kreiskommando. Uh, I've been hitchhiking here once, it's in Zolotun, a couple of times, it's impossible, nobody takes you here. Looks like a big Fleur Belis. <laughs> the world domination, or Switzerland rules the world. There's a crown, like the crown of Bern. And uh, here's another crown. Well, they're like crowns here, don't they? Now? Yeah. And this area is Catholic. As 60% of Switzerland is Catholic. And uh, the other 40% is like Protestant. So this is a Catholic church. Pax Romana. Well, there's no peace here. Now look, here they wrote down SS. Well, that's Switzerland. You know, Switz. SS Serland for ISIS. Why, why, why do they write down SS? You know. So this is a Catholic church. So. Well, there it is. It's the uh, Jesuit church, the one I was in. And it was built from 1680 to 1689. Only nine years. That's quite short. And that's interesting, you know, because the Thirty Year War, was, which was a war against Protestantism, that ended in 1648. So just after that war, they built that church in Switzerland as a victory over the Protestants and over the rest of Europe where the Swiss mercenaries, they murdered about two-thirds of the German population, about 20 million people. Uh, later on, um, well, the Swiss, they did the same thing with the Jews, and uh, they never stopped doing it. And, um, well, there were more than 100,000 Swiss mercenaries murdering the Germans in that war. So this church, apparently, is a... Uh, is a it's a token of their, their victory over, over the rest of Europe. And that's the other church, it's called Sankt Urs. The other church I filmed, there it is. And in German it's called Klosterkirche Namen Jesu. Namen Jesu, it's a Jesuit church. So this is from the uh, tourist guide from Solotorn. There you can see the other church and the other one is just next to it. It's also on the river Are. Two times the sun hieroglyph of the pharaohs, the Templars cross. And uh, here's the Swiss cross. Wearing it under a skilt. <laughs> uh, there's another crown here. Swiss are ruling the world. Oh yeah, Fleur de Lis. Domination of the world. Too. Fleur de Lis on a church, so that means the aristocracy, you know, and the church have always been working together. And this is a Jesuit church. 
apparently. I don't know what it says. No. Look, the, the A is like the... Uh, there's another Fleur de Lis. The A is like the... Uh, the square and compass. I mean, why make the A like that, you know? So, uh, well, there's probably a lot more to say. So, let's go inside the Jesuit church. Look, he's on one side the cross and the other side the uh, skull of death with a crown. That means the Masons is the aristocracy. That's, how, that's what I've been telling you all the time. The aristocrats, they became the, uh, the old world's order. This is the old world's order. And they became the, um, the new world's order. The pharaohs became the aristocracy and now they're ruling through the new world's order. And this, that's why on a Jesuit church there's a Templar's cross and Fleur de Lis squeezed into it, you know, because it's all related. Look, this is NATO, or as you can see on the CIA, you know, in an oval. It's everywhere, and this church is, it's abundant. So this is a Jesuit church of Solaton, again. Well, I can't, it's very far away, so I, I can't just film it all. But what I saw here, the two Templar guys here, there's an octagon. There, the two Templar guys there. there. So this is a Catholic church, a Jesuit church. So here's a big sun hieroglyph of the pharaohs, again with this system, like the CIA and the NATO. It's very abundant in this church here, I've never seen it like that. So, well maybe they are the CIA and the NATO, as some people say. And here as well, this is the Templars, the V of the Templars, as Himmler was having on his jacket. And so the Jesuits, they were... Um, created by the Catholic Church to, um, uh, to get rid of the Protestants and with all means, you know, murder, torture, killing. So that's what the Jesuits are, really. They have a lot of power. It's, a lot of people say they are like combined with the Templars. I don't know. But it's, it's a military wing of the Vatican. And I say the Templars are more the military wing of the aristocracy, but they, they surely had some combined forces, you know. Isn't it right, NATO? Like that symbol in that Jesuit church in Solothurn, Switzerland. Same symbol. The same symbol as in the Jesuit church. So that's a CIA symbol in tune. Switzerland and down here it says Falcon Horus another obelisk here inconspicuous let's have a look what's on the other side Eighteen seventy five. 
It's been an important Freemason family. Hello, Isis. Of course she's there. Where there's an obelisk for Osiris, there's Isis as well. Looks just like the one I filmed on Normandy at Normandy Beach. All these people died for her. So normally uh, the obelisk stands next to the water for Isis. The water is Isis in that case. You know, the River Nile. But if there isn't any water, then there will be a statue. Because next to an obelisk for Osiris, there must always be Isis. And there she is.